how to embed Calendly on WordPress. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I will be showing you how you can implement or integrate Calendly, a simple and easy to use scheduling software onto your WordPress website. So let's get into it. Now, uh, a lot of people think it's it must be so complicated to enter Calendly on WordPress. Maybe you need to learn coding or anything like that. Don't worry, this is absolutely free first off. Then it is absolutely like simple and easy you don't need to learn how to code there are just a few things you're going to follow along with me and your website will be ready with your calendly integration so let's get into it now the first step is obviously to create your calendly account i already have my account so i'm just going to log in over here and you can see i have a simple little calendly schedule you can click on create and i'm going to go into the details of that later we're going to focus on the gist on how to implement calendly or integrate calendly into wordpress and then later on i'm going to show you guys how you can customize your calendly account so First off, you're just going to go onto Calendly.com, log into your account, and then you're going to see these. this is like your basic uh, Calendly account. Now, uh, once you have logged onto your dashboard, you're going to click on the settings icon on the right side of your screen. And then once you do that, you're going to click on add to website. Then you're going to choose what kind of way you want to add this to your website. If you want to uh, have a embedding, if you want a pop-up widget, or if you want a pop-up text. So I want a embedded form, so I'm going to click on uh, online embed and I'm going to click on continue. Then what you're going to do is you're going to choose your colors and all that if you want to customize Calendly as well. And what you're just going to do is you're just going to click on copy. That is all you're going to do. You're not going to change anything at all. You're going to copy this as it is. Then you're going to go on to your WordPress account. So this is my WordPress account. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up my WordPress website. I'm going to click on edit site to begin editing my WordPress site to uh, actually add my account into it or Calendly schedule into it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the top left over here and I'm going to take a look at this uh, section over here so you have different blocks and things that you can add and what you're going to do is you're going to click on code over here and then you're just going to copy or paste the code that you just copied from Calendly and that is it so you're just going to click on update on the top right over here and just like that you're going to click on view page now so just like that we are choosing our domain over here and we are just going to skip our purchase and what you're just going to do is you're just going to continue on over here and just like that you have added a simple calendly widget onto it obviously my website isn't launched yet so you cannot see the uh widget coming uh like the actual widget but you're easily going to be able to uh go ahead and if you uh launch your website the widget will appear on the website now another thing that you can do if you're looking for a different kind of pop-up uh you can go into your settings click on add to website and use a pop-up widget and then for that you're just going to click on copy go back to your site click on edit and then you can just simply remove the previous one so we're just going to delete this from here and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click on over here into the add section and then i'm going to click on code and i'm just going to move this over here so we're going to move it on top and then i'm going to click on paste i'm going to move this to the total top section and i'm going to click on update and just like that, our page has been updated. So uh, you can add any kind of Calendly uh, integration onto your WordPress website, just like this method. And not only with WordPress, you can do this with any other appointment. And like you can do this with any other website builder as well, such as Wix or Squarespace or WooCommerce, like whatever you're using to build your website. Uh, you can easily integrate Calendly into it. Now, in terms of just customizing your Calendly account, well, if we go on to our Calendly website over here, you can see I've added this simple little event, but I'm going to delete that and show you guys from scratch how you can do that. So first off, you can go on to your account settings over here and set your own, you know, custom availability hours. So if you go on your top over here in the availability section, you can set your basic uh, work hours. So let's say your regular work hours are like five to nine every day or whatever. So you can add those over here. Let's say we're only available from 
Friday through Tuesday and like Friday through Sunday and we're unavailable on the rest of the week so you can deselect that and then what you can do is you can also add data override so let's say maybe on uh, the first like the first week of every month you're available so you can add the overrides over here so people can book you for these specific dates only not the rest of the weeks and the rest of the month so you can add your overrides as well now just like that you have your basic working hours and you can add a new schedule as well so you can add exclusive hours or custom hours or primary customer hours or something like that and just like that you will set your basic availability then you can begin adding the kind of scheduling events that you take so for example, let's say you take like a 40 minute meeting with a client or maybe you take like a two hour meeting with your client. You're going to click on a uh, new event type on the right side of your screen over here and you're going to choose what kind of event this is. Let's say it's a one on one event and then you're going to enter your event name. And then you're going to add your location. If this is the in person meeting, you're just going to add your address just like that and then you're going to add the description or instructions for the event itself let's say that maybe you're like a therapist or maybe let's say you're a lawyer and you take appointments via Calendly then you're going to add a specific instructions like maybe you want your client to bring their previous uh, legal records or something like that so you can add all of that in the description or instructions and then you have your event link and then you can choose the color that you want to use to illustrate your event I'm going to go with orange and then you're going to click on next and then you're going to choose when uh, invitees can schedule you so let's say you only want to be scheduled one month ahead in time so you're going to add 30 calendar days over here so this will enable you to not get booked for like the super future like not so you're not booked for like four or five months ahead of time it could just be simpler and easier for you then you're going to choose the duration you can click on custom over here to add your own amount of minutes let's say this is going to be a 70 minute meeting just like that and then you can use your existing schedule or set up custom hours for a specific type of event as well and then you're just going to continue on with the working schedule i'm going to continue with the working schedule and you can add some time before and after events so let's say after every event you need like a 15 minute break so you can add a 15 minute uh, uh a 15 minute break so you can give some buffer time to wrap up your uh event and then move on to the next meeting and then you're just going to click on next over here and just like that we have our new event logged on and if I go onto my Calendly account over here, you will see this basic consultation over here. So that is how simple and easy it is to get started with Calendly and integrate it into any website development platform. All you have to do is click on add code and copy the code from your settings over here. And the best part about Calendly is that it is available for free and you can create a basic calendar collection of one person on as like one individual managing your business. The free version will suffice and they start at the essentials version at $8 per seat per month and the $12 version, which is the professional version and the $16 version which is the team's version for larger businesses, companies, or corporations. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.